what's going on everybody welcome back to the farm today we have got some hay to mow here on lone oak it is finally that time of the year who's a good boy you're a good boy yeah it is finally that time of year so we are gonna get the uh we're gonna get the john deere out and ready to go connected up to our mower we're gonna go out mow some grass we don't have a actually we've got more than i thought i forgot we actually have like this area over here too so we actually got quite a bit to do Hopefully we're going to get it all mowed. Now, I know it says it's going to rain in the forecast. And you know what? I've accepted this defeat. We're going to mow hay and it will rain. But it's Oregon. It rains every day. Literally, it has rained every single day. Every single day it has rained. So there's no getting around it. So we're just going to mow. We're, it's fine. It'll be hay for cattle. It won't be real high quality and it's not going to be the nicest. But... We have to get it mowed. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get this thing fired up. Perfect. Let's go over there and connect up to our New Holland Haybine. It's just over here. And then we'll also... Uh, do I have a rake? I don't think I have a rake. I don't need one necessarily because this thing windrows. Yeah, that's why I don't have one. Those are too expensive. I'm not going to get one either. We're going to get this mode and then we're going to uh we're gonna have to let it sit for a minute aren't we and let it so we can bail it oh you know what i just thought of um we're not running seasons right now which means it won't dry normally uh like in the sun so we would have to okay so we're gonna get grass bales we're gonna get grass bales out of this which is f well, that's fine it, good enough close enough to be honest, it's going to get rained on anyway, so I don't really mind. Whatever we whatever we can do, it's fine. We're going to go back to our actual uh, hay ground first, though, and then we're going to come up here and mow that area. But for now, we're going to head back to our actual little hay field. It's only like five or six acres. It's really not that much. Open to just get, you know, I don't know, five, six bales off of it, probably. That would be ideal to me. I would like the hay to uh, grow a little bit more. It just looks a little short to me, but I went out there and I looked at it, and uh, it's all, the flowers are, are budding out, the clover, so it's nutrients level, it's, it's, it's time to cut. It's at its highest nutrient right now, so we gotta cut it. It's not the longest, so it might not be a high yield, but it, it, it will be a good nutrient, assuming we can get it off of the field before the rain sets in. That's gonna be the challenge, if we can get it off the field before the rain sets in. Of course, we're driving back here into probably one of the most beautiful places in any farming sim map. I mean, I just love this area right back here. It is so gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. Let's run right through this gate. Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. Plenty wide. And then... Like, let me make sure I clear the gate so I can figure out which side I want to go to. Let's unfold. There we go. Looks like where I, I chose that side. Drop it down. Uh, and I'm going to actually kind of back up a little bit here without hitting that fence. Let's just get right up next to it there. Perfect. Turn it on. And let's mow hay. If I can, go forward. There we go. Make that turn. Clear that gate. Yes. Yep. Perfect. We're mowing. It's all dropping out of the back just fine. Awesome. Oh, not paying attention. About to run into my fence. Ay, ay, ay. This little tiny field is going to be a bit of a problem for me, isn't it? I'm going to try and get right up along that fence. God dang it. Hit the post. Good thing we got that guard on it for that exact reason. It's okay. Just trying to get the hang of how wide this thing is. Just back up, try and realign here. Gotta clear this fence. Can we clear it though? Come on, get over, get over! This thing just trails! Get over, how hard is that? Like, come on. Can't even see it now. Oh my gosh. Can we please just get out of the way of it? Is that really too much to ask? Good lord! Back way up here. Crank this thing way over here. Come on. Just 
Get away from that post, please. There we go. Now we're cooking. It's nice and easy. God, that cab is in... Uh, this post on the back end of the cab is in the worst place it could possibly be. I cannot see how close I'm getting to the, the fence line. Alright, well, I think we're cooking now, as long as I can stay away from the fence. Even if I'm not getting actually all the way up close to it, it's fine. As long as we're going, I'm not going to complain. We're going to get this mode again. Yeah, it's, it's looking pretty light. There's not a whole lot of grass here to mow. It's unfortunate, but uh, it's time to cut. So that's what we're working on today. I'll try and run this in first person as much as I can here. Getting too close to that fence. We're going to get that one. Oh, gosh. Whew. We are skating right along the outside of this. Once we get off of this fence, though, it's going to be a lot easier for us. A lot easier to cut. All right, let's make this turn. Nice and easy. Oh, let's go this way. Here we go. Try and stay on the other side of those mounds there. Those things are going to be a bit of a problem for us. We'll stay on this side of them. Perfect. And we're going to do a few headlands. Uh, probably three headlands. And then we will uh, we'll go back and forth lengthwise. Then we'll move up and we'll mow uh, the other field. Or we'll bail this. But uh, no, I have the mower connected. Probably should just mow it. So we'll go and mow the other one. And then we'll bail after that. That's the plan for today. Now I know there are some rocks down here along the brush line. There's one right there. So I got to be careful. I should be far enough away from them right now. I'm trying not to get too far over there to the brush because I don't want to nail a rock. That will really, really mess up our uh, our mower here. And that's going to plug it up and break some teeth. And I just don't want to take the time. Don't want to take the time to have to fix that. That is going to be a huge... We're trying to fight the weather right now. We're trying to beat the rain. And if we break down, forget about it. There's no way we're going to get what we're trying to get done done today. This John Deere is running this uh, haybine like a pro, man. It's working really well. There's a rock right there. Are we going to miss that? Yep. Just on the other side of it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and turn back up this way. Let's stay far enough away from that tree. Am I far enough away from that tree? God dang it. Swing it over here. Here we go. Now go around the tree. Whew. This is, uh, the, this outer stretch is the hardest one, that's for sure. Okay, and there is our first pass. Go ahead and raise it up. And what I'm going to do is I could angle this the other direction, can't I? Yeah. So now what we can do is follow our headland as our guide. Oh, please don't mow that. I don't have you dropped. What are you doing? I have you raised up for a reason. Turn, boy. Try not to crank this thing too much. All right, right there. Pull forward. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it down now. And we're going to try and follow our headland here as best as we can. Just keep us in line. Nice and easy. Turn that a little sharp. Perfect. Whew. This is an interesting hay field to cut. It's my first time ever cutting this hay field, so it, it's, uh, it could be going better. To be honest with you, it could be going a little bit better. And just seeing the width of this thing, I'm actually going to have to get over here and ride next to the, to the uh, windrow, which usually you ride right on top of it. But looks like the way this thing is spaced out, we're going to have to ride next to it, which is fine. But it's late spring here, and we are still afloat. We are uh, positive so far. I mean, we, we have our debt, and we're paying it off. We're, you know, we're always making our payments, but we're staying afloat. Um, we need to go and take care of our horses today as well. We need to ride them. We need to do that every day, because then we get an income from them, and it, it, it just works out better when we train them. They improve their stats, and they become worth more. We really need to train them every day. It is, it's a hassle. It's a hassle to try and run a farm here and uh, 
and try and take care of those horses. We probably got too many to start. We have six. Probably should have started with like three of them, I think. We have like double the amount that we can really handle right now. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll sell some of them off early, but we might not. We might try to just stick through it and uh, and work extra hard here. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. I'm hoping it's going to be worth it in the long run. I guess we'll see. But I'm really liking this John Deere, this two-wheel drive. It, it's really, really nice. Um, I know people have asked where I got this tractor, and I don't really recall. Uh, I think my buddy uh, Austin... He gave me a call and told me that there was an auction somewhere, and I went and picked this thing up. Maybe it was his, uh, maybe it was his buddy's tractor, and uh, he was auctioning it off or selling it. I really can't remember off the top of my head, but it is definitely a really, really nice tractor. I, I'm, I'm super happy with this buy. It works very well for us. It's got plenty of horsepower for what we need. It really is like the perfect tractor for our operation here. It, it, we don't need anything like new and fancy or big. We're pretty small. We're actually extremely small. So this works out great for us. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, you know, get some stuff down the road. Whoop. Accidentally uh, hit my little my little hydraulic there. I'm hoping we'll be able to get some new stuff down the road. But for now, we got to work on just getting rid of our debt. That debt is going to be a big problem if we want to continue to expand. And we have a lot of it. Like 200 some thousand dollars we're in debt here. So it's going to be a lot of work, but we'll get at it here. This is going to be our final uh, our final headland. And then we're going to just go straight back and forth, I think, is what we're going to do. I mean, we're going to still kind of do a circular pattern, so I don't have to keep changing the direction of the, uh, the hay bind. But we're going to go uh, just back and forth lengthwise. That's going to be a whole lot easier for us to bail. Um, seeing how, I mean, it would be easier for us to rake that, that way as well. But seeing how I will not be raking this and we're just going to bail it straight from the uh, mower, that's going to be the easiest way for us to get that done. I wonder how our neighbor's crop is going over there, Mason. Mason had us plant and spray that. So we've practically cared for the crop this whole time. I mean, it's, it's practically our crop that we're not going to get the money from it, nor did we pay the bills on it. But we've been caring for it. It's right here next to our land, really, really close. So it works out. He gives us some money. He doesn't have to deal with the field. Uh, it just works out really well. I'm pretty sure, and I could be wrong, but I think we'll probably harvest it for him as well. We'll see. I'll have to talk to him about it. Uh, he might want to harvest it himself. But if he's down, I will harvest it for him. I will not complain about getting some extra money for doing some custom harvesting. We need the money wherever we can get it. So any little odd jobs I can do, I will absolutely do. Of course, those take away from our horse operation, right? Like, sure, we get money from it and usually a fairly good amount, but that's time I could have spent training the horses to up their value to get an even larger sum down the road. So I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, just so we have operating money in the now. Uh, and then we're using those horses for our long-term investment. I think we're smart on how we're playing this out, but we'll see. If, if we go belly up, then we'll know we did something wrong. But we're still afloat so far, so we must be handling it just fine. All right, that is our final headland. Now we're just going to go back and forth lengthwise. So we're not going to do the uh, ends here like we are right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just go lengthwise down this way. So it's going to look like we're doing another headland, but we're not. Because we're going to pick it up at the end and then resume on the other side. Now, this field is so small that usually, you know, a field, you, you kind of like cut into cut it into chunks. Um, but this one, it's so small, we're going to be able to just go around and around and around uh, just fine. I just don't want to do it on the, uh, on the east and west ends because... That will really complicate things for us. I think those are east and west, are they not? Actually, no, that's north and south. Yeah, that's north and south. Never mind. So I don't want to do it on the north and south ends, uh, just because that's going to make things really tight and really hard to turn with the baler and the mower. But this mower is getting absolutely muddy, isn't it? This hay is a little wet. You can see it. It's pretty dark. It's pretty green. It's kind of sticking on our sickle there. It's a little wet. <laughs> it rained yesterday um and i was hoping that it would be dry enough today it is we're not plugging up yet which these these mower types are uh pretty common to plug pretty easy but 
We're, we're chugging along just fine. It's handling it, so I, I, I can't complain. What? Now we just got to run down here to this end. We're going a little fast. Straighten out. Drop it down and uh, continue our mowing. Lift that up. Take our turn here nice and easy. Head back down the other way. I'll tell you what, I am glad it is the weekend. And you, uh, you probably think like, yeah, Jake, you probably, you know, get a chance to relax and you take the days off. No, no, um, that's not why I'm glad it's the weekend. Although I will say I do sleep in on the on the weekend and it is very nice I, that I get to sleep in. But also I'm up until like three in the morning, so I, there's not really any win there. It's like I'm trading it off. I'm just shift. I'm just sh like shifting the time a little bit, but. Uh, the reason that I'm glad it's the weekend is I get to get a lot of work done that I need to get done uh, because, you know, my full-time job takes up all of my time during the week. And uh, I don't have time to get a lot of the work done that I need to get done for my channel or for my uh, other business ventures. So it's nice to have the weekend to be able to work on those, get some progress made on it, get it done. I never stop working. Uh, some would probably say that's sad and I don't have a social life, but... I don't mind it because I'm getting stuff done. I'm uh, building my future. You know what I mean? So I, I can't complain about it. I enjoy what I do and uh, I enjoy working. I, I, just, I don't know. I've just always been that kind of person to... Uh, and one of the things is I enjoy working uh, for myself. I like to do tasks when I say they need done. When You know, I, I don't know why I am that way, but I'm more... I don't know. I just enjoy doing tasks more when I know that they will benefit me more in the long run or, or in the end. It's weird like that. I don't know. Anybody else? Anybody else get that? It's probably one of the reasons I'm a huge uh, supporter of people uh, finding something that they're good at or finding something uh, that needs a market or has a market and then building a business into it, you know, growing a business and working for themselves. I'm a huge advocate of that. And I don't know, you know, part of that's actually my generation, I suppose. I'm technically Gen Z. Um, I'm, I'm a cusper between Gen Z and Millennial. I'm like right on the line practically. But technically speaking, I'm a Gen Z, I suppose, like the oldest you could be. And uh, from what I've looked at stats and stuff, Gen Z is very big into entrepreneurial stuff. They're very big into... Uh, having your own business, starting your own business, making your own money. So I suppose maybe that's just a generational thing. Maybe that's what my generation is huge on. I don't know, but it's something that I've always supported, always uh, been a fan of, and I think everyone should think about that. You know, I think that's, in the long run, I think that's the best way to go. Personally, now, again, that's dependent on everything. If you, you know, it's not saying you have to, but I personally believe it to be the best option. But, you know, play the cards that, are your, that you're dealt. If you don't have the opportunity for that, or if you have a great opportunity ahead of you, then take that opportunity. But I'm just always a huge advocate of people, you know, finding something that they can do and then getting their own business in that. I feel like it's so much more rewarding to have your own business and to grow your own business and, and make your own clients. And I don't know, it's just way more rewarding, may, way, way more fulfilling. It's strange. I don't know if anyone else feels that way um but yeah just let me know what you guys think on that topic down below i guess because i'm it's something i'd be very interested in discussing with you and learning more about seeing other people's point of view i mean one thing one thing it is harder it is for sure harder because you have to have you know you have to get your own clients you have to build your own market uh you have to pay your own expenses you have to you know taxes alone you have to handle on your own Whereas when you work for a company, it's a, it's not guaranteed, it's not a guaranteed paycheck because you could be fired, the company could go belly up, but it is more steady and more sound when you work for a company than it is when you, uh, when you have your own business of some sort, I suppose. But anyways, enough talking about that. Let's keep mowing hay. Let's get some third person action here for those of you who would like to see that. I've been trying to do first person in Lone Oak um, even more now because I'm trying to play it, uh, you know, a bit more realistic, a bit, a bit different than, I don't know how to explain it. I just thought like first person worked really well on this series. Um, so I've been trying to do that more le recently, 
but we'll, we'll throw in some third person here and there for those of you that want to see what's going on, want to see around. I mean, it is beautiful. This tractor is really, really nice. I wish this mower didn't get so filthy all of a sudden, but what are you going to do? Am I right? Got to take this turn dumb wide because this, this draw bar doesn't like us to turn wide at all. Holy cow. That's kind of annoying. But we're getting there. We don't have too much more of this field to go. We've got the majority of it mowed. We can mow at a pretty good pace here, about 12 mile an hour. So can't can't complain about that. Oh, I saw a meme. It uh, it was like the cat meme where the lady's yelling at the cat, right? And um, God, we were going like, how fast were we going there? That was that seemed really fast. Anyways, the lady was yelling at the cat, and she was like, "It's miles per hour," and the cat was sitting there like, "Mile an hour." I thought that was funny because everyone I know says mile an hour. They don't say miles per hour. They say mile an hour. It's, it's just weird. It's weird how in English we just take words and then just take the sounds of what these words are, combine them into one word, and then people understand it. Like mile an hour, if you, if you said that to a non-English speaker, they'd probably, and you know, someone that doesn't speak it very well, they'd probably be like, what? But if you said miles per hour they'd probably have an easier time understanding. It's very strange that we, like, we slur everything. We just go, Monar. <laughs> Weird. Have you ever thought about that? Oh, I think I figured it out. You know what was happening? Oh, come on. Come on, tractor. I know you don't like going up the hill. I know it. Draw bar doesn't like to turn. I'm aware. What was happening, the reason we were going so far, so fast, is because I had the, uh, <laughs> I had the thing picked up. It still mows even when it's picked up, which is, uh, I guess, something to do with the mod. The mod doesn't work quite correctly, and that's why we're mowing so fast. So there's a little cheat, I guess, if you want to mow really fast. Just don't lower it. Leave it picked up, and you can, like, cook along at, like, 16 mile an hour while mowing. But when you lower it, you go, like, 6. Okay, yeah, this makes, this makes a lot more sense now. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we won't let this dry out. What we're going to do is just get this mowed. And then bail it right afterwards, or even if it starts to rain before we can get to bailing it, or for some reason or something, um, it's not going to be a big deal because this is just going to be grass bales. They're not going to be hay bales, so I'm not too worried about the rain. I mean, it still sucks. You still don't want it to rain, but it's really not as big of an issue. So I think that's how we're going to handle this. I think that's going to work out the best for us. And then I f we found out that if we turn this way, the mower likes to turn a whole lot better when we do it that way. Has anyone checked out the uh, merch that I dropped? I don't know if y'all saw that at the end of uh, one of my videos. It was, I think it was when the combine broke down. At the end of that video, I had a little uh, little video on my merch showing it to you guys. If y'all saw it, there's a link down below if you want to check it out. Tell me what you think of the merch. Tell me what designs you want to see next. I've got some design ideas. They just, uh, I just haven't, I tried, I tried getting them made and uh, they didn't turn out quite how I wanted them. I wanted those ones to be really good. And uh, so they, they just didn't quite turn out uh, good enough yet. But I do have some other really, really cool ideas that I think you guys will will enjoy. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. I'll let you know when those get made and drop as well. And uh, I don't know, maybe those will be exclusive merch designs or, uh, or something. Maybe we'll go through a special deal for those or something. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of the current designs. Let me know what you would like to see for future designs down below. And with that, we finish this hay field. That is fully mowed. Let's go ahead and shut that bad boy off. And before I continue driving, we are going to just go ahead and figure out the hydraulics here. Try and straighten that out as best I can. That's, that's about straight. There we go. This thing got filthy. It is absolutely filthy, and we need to buy a power washer. But I don't own one yet. But my gosh, they are expensive, aren't they? I don't want to buy one. That's going to knock down our our finances a ton. Power washers are so expensive. But we're going to run this back up to the farm, and uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll... Uh, do, we, do we continue mowing, or do we break out the baler? That's the thing I need to decide here. Squeeze through the gate. Perfect. This thing, it's a good thing we don't have a mower that's even slightly bigger than this because it would not be able to fit anywhere. Wouldn't be able to fit in our shed. Wouldn't be able to fit through our gates. And that's one of the things. You got to have small equipment out in this area because uh, 
It's just a tight place to get through. A lot of woodland, a lot of tight gates. It's just not good for big equipment. That is for sure. There we go. Squeezed through that. I almost ran into the fence there trying to, but we made it no problem. And then we are going to put this thing away. I chose to go this way very last second. Woo! Almost hit that. Sometimes I need to just slow down, I think. Try to go a little too fast at times. I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to do is... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to park up the tractor outside here. I'm not going to put it away yet, just in case we do come back and mow this yet today. But we're going to run over and make sure our horses are good. Make sure that they have, uh, make sure they got hay, make sure they got water, make sure they're all good to go. Speaking of which, let me get you some food here, dog. Hold on. Open up that garage door, which opens very strange. Perfect. Let's grab the dog food. Where'd I put it? It's on one of these shelves here. Ah, here we go. All right, let's just go out here and feed the dog real quick. There you go, boy. Yeah, good boy. Let's put that back. There we go. And before we actually go over there, I mean, we have to, right? We have to try and take a shot. I can pick this thing up. Okay. Here we go. For the win. Oh my gosh. That was bad. Well... <laughs> Maybe we'll get a redemption later on. Let's fire up the truck and head over to the horses. We're going to take the back way because that way is so much faster. We'll be back, boy. Don't worry. You just hang out on the back side of your doghouse, question mark. Weirdo. It's a weird dog. Do we technically own all this, too? I don't think so. I do not believe that belongs to us. No, no, it does not. Jeez, Jake. Okay, stay on the road and stop going so fast. Holy cow, what are you trying to do? Trying to get in a wreck. All right, we're rolling up to the highway here. Nobody's coming. Perfect. Let's just roll out. And the horses are just right down here, actually. Not that far. This way is so much faster getting over here. It's not even funny. It's not as pretty because that little area right there, that, that, that area right there on that road is very pretty. But we're just going to pull up, park right here once again. There we go. Let's hop out and uh, make sure that they've got some food. Looks like that bale's been eaten, so we're going to give them a bale of water. And real quick, we're going to check their water. Our bale of water. Does that... Uh, nice. We're going to check their water, and we'll give them a bale of hay, not a bale of water. How's it going, Charlie? All right. So the pump's still working. Yep, they got water. Perfect. Glad to see that pump is still working. Uh, Yeah. All you generic, same-looking horses looking real happy out here, aren't you? Let's give them some hay. All right, let's hop up into the old International. I really like this tractor, too. Go ahead and fire it up. Let's lift up that front end. Lift up the rear spike. And I was going to back up, but I don't have the room, so we're going to have to pull forward a wee bit here, not hit the tree. And we're going to have to just turn right back here. Perfect. Didn't hit the house either. That would have been an expensive mistake. Arr! What? Somebody stole our hay! All right. Which one of you lily livers stole my hay? That's not cool. Somebody stole our hay, guys. What? How rude. I can't believe it. Someone stole our hay. Oh, and side note, I also just realized I am running Seasons, and I'm an idiot for thinking I wasn't. I was thinking of the members-only server. Well, you've got to be kidding me. We're going to have to go and get some hay now? Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Someone stole our hay. Okay. That's not cool, man. Well, I guess that means we're going to take this trailer back to our uh our house and we're going to bale some hay and we're going to continue mowing hay and we'll just have to go from there man this is this is this sucks perfect look at that i nailed that just right well i guess let's hit the road then huh god we're not gonna make this turn are we Try not to hit the forks on the house and the trailer on that guy's shed. Good thing this trailer is not any longer. 
Holy cow, that's a tight turn. Oh, my truck is still here and in the way. Perfect. Okay, well, you know what that means. The truck's going to stay here for now. This is going to work out because we'll bring that tractor back with the hay, and then we'll... Actually, you know what? I shouldn't leave the hay on a trailer here. I need to put it under a shed or something. I need to have it locked up is what I need. So maybe we won't bring the hay back. Maybe we'll just have to bring hay every day in, like, the bed of the truck or something. Maybe we should do small squares. I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't expecting this, but this is something that we need to get figured out. But let's go ahead and bring the uh, flatbed in this tractor back to our place, I suppose. Perfect. Well, we're going to run back down to our place, and uh, we'll continue hay production here in the next video on Lone Oak. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. This might be a little bit of a short one, and if so, I apologize about that. But I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you all so much, and until next time, I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.